Hi, my name is Joe Walling, uh, aka Boeing Bow Hunter on the SaddleHunter.com forum. I thought I'd come out and do a quick video presentation of my climbing method and how I set up in the tree and then how I get down when I'm done hunting. Before I get started, I want to make a quick uh, public service announcement, if you will. Remember, every time you go up a tree, you're, uh, there's risks involved. You want to make sure all your gear is climb rated in good condition. Um, inspect that gear every time before you use it. If you find gear that's questionable or worn, has wear, uh, don't climb. It's not worth it. Uh, don't take a chance on injuring yourself. Uh, you owe it to your families to uh, come out of the woods the way you went in each day. So take that to heart. Um, with that said, a uh, quick review here of the gear I'll be using today. The uh, first piece of equipment that, I, that I'm going to be using that I'll describe is my uh, Tethered Mantis. It's an XL size. Um, it's been really valuable to me this year. I've, I, to my best of my calculations, I've sat 71 times elevated. I've worn this 69. The only reason I didn't wear it all 71 was I wanted to make sure that the uh, I hadn't changed something that made the saddle I used last year feel better. But uh, in, in spite of the fact that I love the saddle I used last year, this one's just more comfortable. It's uh, extremely light. I can wear it in without knowing I've got it on. Um, it allows me to sit. The saddle last year I was more of a leaner. This year I sit more. Um, it cups better. It doesn't slide up on me. And uh, the only modifications I've made to it are I've added a D-ring in the front for a method of climbing I'm not going to demonstrate today. And then I've added some gear loops on the back. And I always carry my uh, pull-up, pull-down string. It's always attached back here so that I can, uh, I never forget it before I get up in the tree. Really nice saddle in my opinion. The other piece of gear I've been using this year from Tethered is a, their Predator platform. Um, I've modified this slightly. Predator platform comes with a strap with a metal clip. Um, cinch it tight before you put it to the tree. I don't really like the metal clip, it tends to bang off things and make noise. So I've replaced that with the daisy chained amp steel, amp steel quarter inch. So it's uh, every two inches there's another loop. Uh, it's all Brummel locked together so they won't, won't slip. And in the, uh, on the front there's a single loop that stays attached to the stand. So when I go up the tree I just loop this around, find the best fit loop. That's my, that's my attachment. I've sat in trees from 4 inches in diameter to 18 inches in diameter with this this year. The beauty of this platform is it's just big enough for my size 13 boots. Um, I can turn around on it without any issue, but it's still small enough I can fit it in my backpack and I don't need to worry about walking through brush and having brush clank off it. It's really quiet. The last piece of gear I've, I use is a heavily modified Hawk Helium climbing stick. Um, I've got, I replaced the straps, much the same with the Predator, I replaced the straps with the metal connections with a piece of 8mm prusset cord and a cam cleat attachment. So it goes around the tree, locks in the cam cleat, and that's how I secure it to the tree pretty easy to un unhook to get it off the tree. I've cut this Hawk Helium down. It's now 24 inches long. I think I've probably taken, I don't know, six inches off it, six to eight inches. Um, I moved, I took a set of steps off. These are usually three step sticks. I've taken a set of steps off and there's a, usually, this set usually was right here. I've moved them down, re-drilled and put them here. So that provides me a much shorter stick the reason that's a benefit to me is I can put it in my pack. Again, it's not going to rattle off brush. It doesn't make any noise. It sits right from about the middle of my neck, the top, to my butt. So it, I don't bump it off anything as I'm walking through the woods. In addition, I've added a single one-step aider that attaches to the top. Um, I've done this with a water knot. So the, it's a strap that's water knotted on the top. I loop it over on the top so that it's uh, tightened down each time so it never comes off the stick. This is the only stick I use so 
Um, it stays right there. I've added a piece of plastic, maybe eight inches long, plastic tubing to the aider that helps hold it open so I can fish my foot into it easier. If after watching these videos you think, uh, if you're a, if you're saddlehunter.com guy, you're you're already familiar with this. But if you're picking this up on YouTube and after watching these videos, you think you uh, might be interested in saddle hunting or want to learn more about it, uh, there's a web forum out there, saddlehunter.com. Bunch of great guys, uh, lots of information, everything you want to know about saddle hunting. This guy's been doing it a heck of a lot longer than me, um, know a lot more than me. Uh, there's also a good YouTube resource, G2 Outdoors has put a ton of stuff on YouTube about saddle hunting, platforms, climbing methods, uh, you name it, he's got it out there. It's really good reference material. Um, check that stuff out. Uh, with that said, I think I'll go climb. Oh, let me say this too. Because of the limitations of time and sp or space and camera visibility and all that, I'm only going to move the step twice as I go up the tree and then I'll set up my platform. I ordinarily, that'll get me to about uh, 15, 12 to 15 feet. I ordinarily move my step four to five times and I'm at 20 to 25 feet typically. So I'll be a little lower today, but you'll get the idea how things work out. Uh, I just can't get it all in frame and have you still see what's going on. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, everybody be safe out there.